Which program should I do? Ryan, you have a ton of programs and I don't know where to start. I absolutely agree with you. I do have a lot of programs. I've been doing this for over 20 years now and I've just made a ton of different programs for a ton of different goals and different times in my life when I wanted to try different styles of training. So now there's a whole bunch of different styles of training. And actually owning a gym for the last six years helped me find out all the different types of people that I'm training on a daily basis and it helped make me kind of want to create even more programs even for people who just want to do something even as simple as body weight. So I had never even done body weight training until the last like two years and now I'm super into that as well and I've learned a lot about creating really fun body weight programs. So let's just start with body weight. <clears throat> let's say body weight is the one program that you want to do. I have two body weight programs right now in ebook format or you can sign up for my mobile app, the Chalk Performance Training app and you guys will get a workout every single day on there. So you can buy the book one time or you can be part of the app. Body weight training is exactly what it is. It's absolutely just body weight training. You don't need anything else. You can do it at home, you can do it at a park. Um, very, very simple stuff. Usually those workouts are about 20 minutes or less. Let's just start from body weight training. We'll start going up the list about how much equipment you need. So from there, the next thing would be the daily D. And the daily D just stands for daily dumbbell workout. And what you need is a set of dumbbells, a pull-up bar, and a jump rope. These are all typically about 20 to 30 minutes in length. They are for people who have one, limited equipment, two, limited time, or maybe they're traveling. It's a great program. I have people who follow it every single day and I have people who just follow it intermittently um, based on how much time or if they're traveling or so, and so forth. <clears throat> the next program from there is probably gonna be our sweat program. That's a very popular program. Uh, that program is gonna require an assault bike and a rower or some sort of fan bike and a rower or some sort of at least two pieces of cardio. This particular program is very, very cardio intensive. They're about 35 to 40 minutes in length and there is no strength training component. This is more of a toning, body fat losing type of a workout and it's just gonna satisfy that person who really likes that cardio component, who really likes that high heavy conditioning component. I absolutely love these workouts on the days that I'm not really feeling lifting heavy weights. Great, great program. I have a couple hundred gyms around the world that actually follow this program inside their gyms as a class. Uh, and then I have tens of thousands of people around the world that follow this program every day. The next program up from that would be the strength and conditioning program. So now we have a small conditioning component that would be a much shorter version of sweat. Uh, and then the first 20 minutes is gonna be a lifting component. So we're gonna have a heavy lift, maybe it's a back squat, maybe it's a superset of some sort, but we're gonna be trying to build some mass and be trying to build some strength and then we're gonna have a 15 to 20 minute conditioning piece at the end, hence strength and conditioning. This particular program does require potentially a full gym setup. You're gonna need a barbell, you're gonna need plates, you're gonna need dumbbells, kettlebells, and a cardio piece. The next program from there is the full body aesthetics program. This one does not have any conditioning in it at all. This is more of a just traditional bodybuilding program. And the reason that I did the full body style is it's something different. I think it's, uh, it's something that a lot of people have never tried before. And instead of just having one particular day of just legs or just chest or just arms, we're taking all of that volume that you would normally do in one day and spreading it out throughout the week. So it's one particular exercise per body part per day and it's five days a week. It's a great program. I've added my own little twist to each particular day that's very unique to me and the, and the movements change every day. So that's another great motivation factor on that program. If you wanna just put on muscle, you wanna do something a little bit more slower pace, uh, you're recovering from an injury, that is a great, great workout for you. And it's been something that I've loved when I'm not really feeling the heavy, heavy conditioning and, or when I just wanna like look a little bit better in a particular area of my body. It's a great program for glutes as well. A lot of women out there who like love that glute training stuff. There's so many great like legs and glute training stuff every single day in that program. Absolutely love it. So all the things that I just said are available in an ebook format and they're also available on the Chalk Performance Training app. So you have basically the option of either buying a one-time book or you guys need part of the app. You have actually have access to all of it on the app. So two different, two different ways to go there. The next thing that I have uh, available for you guys is the high intensity interval bodybuilding. And the high intensity interval bodybuilding is something that, something is very unique to me. <laughs> it's something that I created after being done being an athlete and I just mixed together all the things that I had learned when I was in college, mixed with all the things I loved about bodybuilding, mixed with all the things I loved about heavy conditioning. And I just mixed them all together and created this thing called high intensity interval bodybuilding. So we have high intensity interval training and I added a bodybuilding component and I added a couple very old school articles from the 70s from 
uh, the original interval weight training articles uh, from a man, a man named Pat O'Shea. And it's, it's, it's all mixed together. There's a little bit more information on the actual high intensity interval bodybuilding page about how I made that program. But that's another great program that I absolutely love. That's gonna be another program that's gonna help you put on muscle um, and potentially burn fat if you're a newer athlete or newer to that style of training. You could do both at the same time. So those are all of the training protocols that I have right now. One thing that I didn't really bring up is the kettlebell program. So the kettlebell program is, a lot of people don't realize everything you can do with dumbbells, you can pretty much do with kettlebells. So I have one particular kettlebell program. It's very similar to volume one of the dumbbell program. And a lot of stuff is just swapped out for the kettlebell. However, if you love that program, you can go buy one of the other volumes of the dumbbell programs and swap it out for a kettlebell just as easily, not a problem. So if I didn't answer your question, you guys can go ahead and send me a message anytime on my Instagram or send me a message at info at chalkperformancetraining.com. But I hope that helps a lot of you guys. Um, I've gotten that question so many times. I've been dying to make this video and help you guys out. So happy training. Um, and again, if you guys ever have any questions, never hesitate to ask. Um, I love you guys. And I'll be having lots of new books coming in the future. If you have any requests, uh, also let me know.